earlier today, I posted my review of Tenet, so that would rank every Christopher Nolan movie rated PG-13 from worst to best. I'm not including Memento, because that movie is rated R, and I haven't seen it, so. <laughs> Coming in last place at number eight is The Prestige. And this is so frustrating to put it so low on the list, because it has a lot of talent behind it, and the plot has a lot of potential, but it's three different storylines that all jump around, and it's all jumbled together, and that makes the film extremely hard to follow. And though Christian Bale is a good actor, I don't know what was up with his British accent, but it was very distracting. It was just so bad. And unfortunately, you can't really root for either of the main characters in this film because they're both absolutely horrible people who are trying to get revenge on each other. So it's a very hard movie to root for somebody in this. Though it does have a very good twist that actually had me saying bravo and I didn't see it coming. It was a very brilliant twist, but it was the getting to that twist that was just so jumbled. Number seven is Interstellar. Now, this is one of those films where I appreciate its ambition, it's well acted, it's got great characters, it has a lot of emotion, but it just didn't resonate with me all that much because my brain just isn't wired for it. Much like a Stanley Kubrick film, I can appreciate it from an artistic and filmmaking standpoint, but it's just not one of those films that's very, for lack of a better word, accessible to me. Number six, Tenet. Again, I appreciate its ambition, I admire its creativity, but the script just throws so much information at the audience in such a short amount of time and is relentlessly fast-paced that it's hard to keep up with it. And Kenneth Branagh, though he is a great villain and he is very well acted and you love to root against him, his character's motivations are not that clear. He just seems like a villain for the sake of being a villain. Number five, Dunkirk. I was actually really fascinated by this movie. It had a lot of emotion, it was very exciting, and it had great characters. And unlike The Prestige, where it was very hard to keep track of where I was at in the movie, I found these three storylines a lot easier to follow. And what's great about this is that a lot of war films, they like to focus on just one main character, but each of these characters is admirable in their own way. It's not really a movie I'm clever to watch again outside of ranking it, but I still enjoy it. Number four, Inception. As confusing as this film is, it's very watchable. The characters are great, the story is creative, though very confusing. It's well-paced, it's exciting. The rules about the dreams are creative, it's a fun movie, though its plot is very reminiscent of The Matrix. Number three, Batman Begins. This has one of the most well-written scripts in any superhero movie. Ideas about fear and overcoming it and using it to your advantage. They made a more realistic type of Batman story with very fleshed out characters with very strong motivations. Number two, The Dark Knight Rises. Now, while this is a very epic film, it is a very epic end to the Dark Knight trilogy, I feel it's long just for the sake of being long. A lot of it is just kind of filler. I don't think Bruce is as well written in this film as the other two films of the trilogy, but I do love its story of a city coming together to stop a common threat. And number one is The Dark Knight. Yes, I know, it's cliche, it's the popular choice, it's the one everybody chooses, but there's a reason. This time, the sequel far surpasses the already great original. Nolan's script is absolutely brilliant with foreshadowing, the dialogue is very well written, the acting is remarkable, it's a suspenseful movie, it's intriguing, it keeps my attention, it excites me, and it's an absolutely brilliant film, so Dark Knight comes in at number one. So share your ranking of Christopher Nolan movies, you can include Memento if you want, uh, just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean I'm deterring you from putting it in there, you can put Memento in there if you want, let me know your ranking of Christopher Nolan's films, and I will see you in the next video.